Everyone, this is Chris Burns for Slash Gear. What I'm going to show you today is uh, the camera app for Ice Cream Sandwich. Now, this is a Samsung Galaxy Nexus, by the way. The camera is stock here because the Samsung Galaxy Nexus is uh, the, ice, the uh, vanilla look at Ice Cream Sandwich. So this is the most basic look you'll get for this version of the operating system. Now, what we've got here right away is your camera button right here. You have a zoom. It zooms in and out. Up in the right hand, up left, left hand corner there, you got the uh, GPS coordinates button. You can switch that on, off or on. We have it on right now. Uh, you have this button which will switch your camera back to see our camera right here. Switch that back there. Um, up above here, you have your ability to hit, uh, go back to your gallery and see your most recent image. The cool thing about this is you're able to get all your sharing, shareable. Uh, you know, icons, quick quick access to those, or if you want to go to the rest of your gallery, you tap that image and it goes back to your gallery like so, as you can see the rest. We're back, or back into the camera here. Again, that's just the camera button. This works no matter if you're using the camera or one of these other functions. There's also the video camera and panorama. Panorama gets its own little icon because it uh, they're very much promoting it as a really cool value added feature. I'll just go through this really quick just to show you. You go too fast. It'll come up with a red well I can't make it do it now, but it'll come up with a red image that a red uh, warning that says you're doing it wrong. And then whenever you want to quit or if it reaches the end of what it can capture, you press that and it'll give you your panorama. Now if I go back to camera, I'm just gonna show you uh, down here you have your settings. Now your settings include uh, changing your flash auto on and off. You can go in here and change your white balance very basically. You can change your exposure anywhere from plus three to minus three. You can change your scene mode. Uh, this will change the lighting of your the way your, your camera sees the light. And then uh, the way you where you store your images on the on the device and the uh, picture size. Now this doesn't change that much because this particular device doesn't uh, want to change outside of 5 megapixels. Same for store location. You can change it, but you're not going to want to, essentially. Uh, we'll go back one. Uh, the cool thing about this particular camera and uh, software setup is that you're able to shoot photos really fast. Each time I hit that, that was a new photo. The thing about this is, uh, these photos don't end up being all that sharp, but they're okay, they're certainly okay. The best way to use that particular function of going really quick is to have this camera sitting still and then have something moving in front of you. That way it'll, you know, be much more successful just like you would do with any sort of camera that's shooting really fast. Uh, our settings for video are very similar. You're able to change the flash mode your white balance, your effects. Now this is a little bit different. There's also a video in the post that you're looking at right now that shows uh, a selection of me, you know, getting image using all these effects on my own face. You can see big nose and big mouth and all that fun stuff. Same for the backgrounds. I have my dog running through each of these different kinds of backgrounds. You can also do this same thing you're doing with these but with any image that you own. So that's a pretty cool effect. Uh, then down here we have video quality. This you can change between SD, HD, and Super HD. Uh, you know, 1080p is what we're going to keep it on. And then down here we can change our store location once again. 